for David on Facebook, who said, If you get pregnant, you rolled the dice, now deal with it. Tired of the bitching by those who knew the risk and did it anyway. I have a lot of potential responses for you. Do you want to hear the one about how our society blocks people from using protection and birth control through a combination of medical misinformation, religious stigma, and economic oppression? Or do you want to hear the one about why we should prioritize compassionate care for all people regardless of your judgment because, oh, I don't know, quality of human life is its own reward? Or do you want to hear the one about how many people aren't given a choice about having sex in the first place? We talk a lot about whether people should be allowed to have an abortion and when and where and with whose consent, but there's a fact we often overlook. No one wants an abortion. That's what you think is happening, right? That abortion is the fun, easy option for the modern woman on the go. That we schedule our abortions between our mimosas and our mani pedis. That we get pregnant every time we have sex, just in case it turns out the guy's rich, then pop in for an abortion when he doesn't call us back. That it's hookups on Saturday night and abortions on Sunday morning. No wonder we keep missing church. No one wants an abortion. No one wakes up in the morning and says, you know, it'd be fun. Terminating an unwanted pregnancy, making a doctor's appointment probably two states away, getting an invasive medical procedure, bleeding for hours, and then being shamed and blamed for it for a lifetime. No one wants an abortion. We want to not need one. We want safe, effective birth control. We want birth control options as varied as our bodies. We want birth control that doesn't ask how much money we make. We want birth control that doesn't ask permission from our boss or our president. We want families who don't see it as a dirty secret. We want schools that teach us how to use it. We want beliefs that don't call it a gateway to sin. We want partners who use birth control. We want partners who won't leave us at the first positive pregnancy test. We want partners who won't sabotage our birth control to keep us stuck in a relationship. We want partners who won't fold the new baby Baby into the cycle of abuse, we want to stay alive. We want to prevent life-threatening infections. We want to preempt miscarriages. We want to avoid painful and dangerous surgeries. We want to live to raise our babies. We want babies who can grow up properly cared for. We want healthy babies. We want to spare our babies the agony of malformed life. We want our babies, sometimes for months, until the heart monitor stops or the doctor frowns and doesn't know what to say. No one wants an abortion. No one wakes up in the morning and says, you know it'd be fun conceiving a child I can't feed or can't protect from her father or won't ever meet alive. Won't that be fun? Let's all go get abortions. Clap if you're having a good time. Listen.